wide variety of controllers can be connected to AHM to allow external control of parameters. Onboard GPIO, IP controllers, internal level sensing and additional external GPIO can all be configured within AHM System Manager. Open the Configure page and Controllers tab. IP1, IP6, IP8 and GPIO are networkable controllers from the Allen & Heath range of AHM accessories. More information on network configuration of these in a dedicated video. Once a slot is selected, click on Device Assignment to assign a connected controller to the slot. A list of compatible and connected devices will be shown. The IP address of the controller can be added manually in the Connect by IP address box. To configure a function, select the soft key, rotary or fader you would like to configure and select the function and associated parameters from the drop-down menus. Soft keys and GPI can have different press and release function states if required. Paging can be assigned to GPIO, IP6 and IP8 control options. More on paging in a dedicated video. Once an IP controller or GPIO has been configured, a virtual simulation can be brought up on screen by pressing Open Simulation to test the functionality of the assigned parameters without having to be in its physical location. Parameters can be copied to or from another controller. Unit Level Sensing is a threshold sensitive virtual soft key where the trigger for the assigned function is a signal level going above or below a set threshold. Ten virtual switches are provided. Each switch can be configured to automatically turn on when a specified signal level is exceeded and turn off when the signal drops below a specified value. Click on a switch to access the settings. Position selects the pick-off point for the level sensing on an input or a zone. Select the input or zone to be monitored. Switch on sets the level at which the virtual switch will be activated and the function attributed to press will be triggered. Switch off determines the level at which the virtual switch will be deactivated and the function attributed to release will be triggered. Hold time determines how long the press function will remain active after the signal drops below the switch off threshold.